So I do a lot of videos that show my process. Um, I love photographing my art and making videos just as much as I love painting. Um, I'm going to start off, just jump right in to some of my favorite brushes. Um, this is a Catalyst by Princeton, number 16. This is one of my favorites. A straight up house painting brush. I love using this for a lot of movement. Um, one of the things that is a downside is it collects a lot of paint. So I usually, to conserve paint, I put the paint right on the canvas. There's actually a term for that technique and I don't remember what it is. Um, these are also catalyst brushes that I really like. I actually use these more for watercolor. I, when I'm painting smaller, I use watercolor. This is probably my favorite brush. This is a freestyle, a Liquitex freestyle, 16 centimeters. This gives some really cool, big brush strokes. You can see some that I used right here. So that's my all time favorite one. Um, then paints, golden is what I've been using. There's different um, consistencies. So this is a titanium white. This one is really thick and almost gooey. Um, this is a heavy body acrylic. This is, you can hear it. This one's more like milk pouring milk onto your paper. And I like this for um, getting droplets or um, mixing with this. These thicker ones, okay, and then I have, oh, this is also, looks like I prepared, but I didn't. This is also titanium white. Um, this is the heavy body acrylic in a tube. You know, I don't actually know if these are the same in different containers. So if I find that out, I will let you know. Um, this one I squeeze right onto the canvas. And then I love to use this brush, which is the Catalyst number 16, or um, this 16, or this one, this house brush. And I just put it right on there, mix it up. This one gives a lot of texture, if you want texture. Um, this liquidy one gives no texture. These are also really thick, so if you paint over something, it's going to completely cover it up. So here I did layers um, using this brush with this paint. So you can see I could kind of move it over here without completely covering up what was underneath it. Uh, however, if I had used this one, it would have completely covered up. There wouldn't be anything underneath. So these are some that are actually my grandmother's and then my mother's. I like these too, but I'm not as familiar with them. This is Liquitex Acrylic Artist Color. However, I am absolutely in love with this raw sienna. And I so far have only used it on watercolor paper. And I'll show you what that looks like. So it's just the most amazing color if you're trying to get a rich Grand Canyon dusty dirt color. So well that's all for today. Totally random. Just jumped right in.